hello everyone welcome to my channel my name is Raj in today's tutorial we will take a look at how I created this simple graphics I will be using some of the methods that I have shown in my previous tutorials I will show you how I took my files from blender to reality editor and from there we will make an R graph in reality hub and then using the form builder we will create a simple template for this graphics so without any delay let's begin the tutorial in blender you can see I have this very simple model this plane over here will hold the texture of the player apart from this there are three other mesh if I select all of them you can see I have set the location and rotation to 0 and the scale to 1 also in the UV editing tab you can see I have created UVs for all of them now let's export this entire model as an FBX so I will select all of these file export and FBX you could also export as datasmith but for this tutorial we will just stick with FBX so FBX make sure to click on selected objects call this whatever you want I have called it shield and export FBX we are done with blender we don't need it so close and save back in the editor let's import the fbx that we just exported from blender so import to game i will go to my folder where i have saved it select the fbx hit open let everything be on default and hit import all as you can see i have all the four different static meshes over here select all of these static mesh drag them to the viewport zero out the location with them still selected go to blueprints and convert selection to blueprint class choose harvest components let's give this a name let's call this bp underscore player gfx and hit select so now this is a blueprint if you want you can shorten the name here i will leave it the way it is let me quickly add materials I have downloaded these materials from Quixel Bridge. If you want, you can create your own materials. So I will just go to my mega scans, surfaces, gold. I will select this. For the frame, I will just hit this button. For the outer frame. And for the inner part, there is another material called MI base. I will just add it. For this I have another material which I have created beforehand you can check out my tutorial on how to create this material so I will apply this material to my plane now for the name let's add text it's facing the wrong direction Rotate it 180 degrees. I will give it a default text called player name. For alignment, I will choose center. This is too big at the moment. Scale it down to 0.35. That's correct. Just put it in place roughly. that looks good enough compile let's see how it looks at this point we are done with the design of the graphics now we have to make the blueprint i have shown this in my previous tutorials so i will speed this up if there is something that you do not understand you can refer to my tutorials the link will be on the top right corner as well as in the description so let's quickly create the blueprints First of all, let's work with the text. Go to the event graph. I will delete anything that is already existing. Take the text, drop it here. Take a pin and search for set text. Let's create a variable. I will call this player name. It's a string variable, make it public drag it out get player name 
put it in value copy the name of the variable player name now let's add a custom event and typed on change underscore player name for the text we are done let's add a zd actor and see how it's working zd actor compile save now when i click play and go to reality hub i can see that i have my node and i have this area to define my name so i can change it to anything i want the text is working fine now let's work with the image in order to change the texture of the player we have to add the update material component search for update and you can find zd update material select it and under reality textures create one array so here we have two members texture property name and material parameter name and for material parameter name we will need the parameter name of this material so i will open up this material and this is the parameter name parameter name player texture i will copy this copy back in the blueprint select the update material and just paste it to material parameter name for texture property name i will call it image copy this now we will add the zd texture component so search for texture and click zd property component texture now select the texture component and under reality member name paste the name that we just copied from the update material so in update material we had named the texture properties image so we copy the same thing over here compile and save let's click play back in hub you can see there is an input for image so right click and let's create a media input node connect it now if i select the media input node and from file path i can select some other image and it updates let's try with one more i can select the bp player node and under name i can change this as the rock and it updates so as you can see that the graphics is working fine from the r graph but in production this is not a very good workflow that going to each node and you are changing the values this can become very difficult because right now we have two two nodes but if you are working in a production there are literally a lot of nodes in an r graph so going to each node and changing values is not a very good solution so that's why we have the form builder uh, before we go to form builder let me just save this very simple r graph save as we will call this um, player r graph i will just maximize this so we have this r graph now it is called player r graph and now let's create a form so click on form builder and let's create a new form we will call this single player first we need is the image so select the media input and drag in the file path over here next select the bp player and drag in the name and that's it just hit save now if i go to the playout tab i can see that i have this single player template if you cannot see the playout tab just go to these three dots and click windows and then play out you have these two fields that we just created using form so let me just minimize this to the side now if i select some other image select and change the name to big show you can see how this changes let's do it one more time let me select another image change the name hit jump and this is how it works you can save this in the rundown 
let's call this single player underscore rock I will do another save as and call this say John Cena I will select John Cena and for the name I'll put John Cena hit save and it changes so this is a very basic overview of the form builder going forward we will take a deeper dive into the form builder but for now to understand how the entire ecosystem works this is the simplest i could come up with if you have any questions put them in the comments down below and if you like my tutorials please do consider subscribing until then see you in the next one thank you